How is going everyone? I'm Andrea, always a pleasure to see you. Today I'm going to teach you in 10 minutes so all you need to know to start using Lightroom presets to improve your editing workflow. There is a lot to say about Lightroom presets. Some people love them, some like making their own, some like to download them and others just straight hate them. Anyways, I love to use presets and create my own collections. Uh, I find them a wonderful way to speed up the editing workflow and keep a consistent look. In this video, we are going to see what are presets, what's the difference between presets and profiles, how to create and update presets, how to import and export custom presets, and how to organize them. So let's go and dive into Lightroom. The easiest way to explain a Lightroom preset is that it's a set of adjustments you can apply to an image just in one click. You can adjust all the sliders in the develop module, or if you get a specific combination of settings to your liking, you can then save that slider's configuration as a preset. You can create your own presets in Lightroom as I like doing, or you can purchase pre-made bundles from other photographers to replicate or achieve a particular looks for your photos. The common scenarios where presets are being used create a look, quick edit shortcuts and film simulation. In Lightroom you have two things that work automatically on your photos, presets and profiles. Presets they are a combination of adjustments we made in the develop module, sliders, curves, colors, local adjustments and so on and that we can modify as we like. Profiles instead are like a pre-processing stage where the image's color and tonal values are remapped to give a particular look ahead of any image adjustments. Profiles are applied before any image adjustments right over the top of a preset and our developing workflow, a kind of foundation on which to build our edits. You can control the intensity of it with a dedicated amount slider. All the available profiles are organized into categories. Clicking on this four square icon, you have your favorites and then the generic Adobe RAW profiles followed by any camera matching profiles. In my case, the Fujifilm film simulation profiles. The process is straightforward. You can create your own preset from scratch or you can tweak a pre-made preset and then save it with your custom adjustments. Adobe gives you some pre-made presets, but I'm not crazy about them. Let's say you want to create a, a new preset from scratch, so for the sake of the video, let's make some adjustments on the basic panel, tone curve, HSL panel, color grading, and so on. Now, once you have finished editing, you want to save all these adjustments as a preset. To save your preset, you want to go to the presets panel and in the top right hand corner of this panel, and then click on the plus icon. Here you're going to select Create Preset. It will bring up a dialog box that allows you to save specific settings for the toning of your images, so all the things you did to the image. For instance, in this example I used the Treatment and Profile. On the basic panel I'm going to select Contrast, uh, Highlights, Shadows, Whites and Blacks. Uh, and then let's check the Tone Curve, Clarity, so every sliders we have adjusted. Lightroom put the new presets into the user presets folder by default. I much prefer to organize my custom presets in specific groups by category like dark mood, airy mood, summer, winter, landscape tool or whatever category you want. Once you have got that, you have to name the preset and then click create. From now on, you can access it under user presets in the presets panel navigate to any other image in the film strip in the develop module and click the presets you want to apply. Sometimes you are not totally happy with the preset you say then you want to change it by making some tweaks. Let's say I like the look of this preset but I want to add some grain and shift the blues a bit more towards the cyan and maybe add more clarity. In order to do that I'm going to apply on this image the presets I need to modify. Then I'm going to make the changes I want and then I'm going to move the mouse over the preset name in the presets panel. Right click and select update with current settings. Now every time I will use this preset in addition to the original settings it will apply the new values for the grain, clarity and the blue hue defined. To import the presets or a set of presets the workflow is super simple. 
You have to go to the Presets panel, select the plus icon and click on Import Presets. In the Import dialog that appears, browse to the required path and select Lightroom Presets, the XMP files that you want to import, then click on Import. If you would like to change the name from User Presets to something else, just right-click on the mouse and select Rename. Hang on, don't rename it. I'm going to show you a better option in the following section on how to organize your presets. Exporting and sharing Lightroom presets is key if you are wanting to move them between computers, distribute them to your team or sell them online. Here is how you do it. You have a couple options. The first one using the regular export function. So you are going to move over presets. You want to export, right click and select export. Now you just need to select the output folder and type in the name for your preset. An alternative option is to select the presets you want to export from the presets tab, then right click on the presets you want to export. Now select show in finder and this will open the Lightroom presets folder showing all the presets in your library. Lightroom preset files are saved as XMP files. Select the XMP file for the presets you have created and copy and paste it anywhere on your computer. If you also use the cloud-based Lightroom CC, you can import the presets you created in Lightroom Classic and sync them with other devices like the iPhone or iPad. Let's say you have already exported in a folder a bunch of presets you want to import in Lightroom CC. Now, you're gonna open Lightroom CC, select the Edit icon, and down here you are going to choose uh, Presets. After that, select the three dots icon, like in Lightroom Classic, you choose uh, Import Presets and the XMP preset files you want to import. Super easy. When you start to have lots of presets in Lightroom, moving through the presets list sometimes can be quite overwhelming. Lightroom has a specific function to turn off the default presets and the presets you don't use frequently. Very simple process. The top selection of presets will be all the Lightroom default preset collections and your other preset collection will show up below that. To remove all the default preset collection or just some if you prefer, click on the plus icon in the right corner of the panel and then choose Manage Presets from the menu that opens. A new dialog box will open where you can uncheck any presets collection you don't want to see in your presets panel. In my case, I unchecked all the default Lightroom preset collections, so I no longer see them. After that, click Save when finished. I always hated sorting through hundreds of presets in my user presets folder. And the best and simple solution to not waste your time through an infinite list of presets is creating preset folders. Let's say you already have a list of presets in your user presets folder. Start by right-clicking on any user preset that you want to move. This will not work if you right-click the preset that come preloaded with Lightroom. Then select Move and you will see the Move Preset dialog box where you can view all your preset folders or groups in the Lightroom Presets panel. Now you have to choose the very first option at the top new group and title your new presets folder. As I said before, you can use folders to organize presets by different moods, different seasons, themes, or just for personal favorites. Lightroom has the ability to organize your favorite presets right at the top of the presets panel. You need to right click over the desired preset and select add to favorites. This feature saves a lot of time. You no longer have to scroll through your collection looking for a favorite preset. Doing this doesn't move the preset from the original preset collection folder. It just adds a copy of the preset to the favorites folder. It's a very handy and time-saving feature. All right, guys, that's it. Let me know if you want to see more in-depth video on presets and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Okay, my 10 minutes video goal is almost up. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.